What's up folks? Want to guess the price for this Gibson Lifton case, brown case? Let's find out. Okay, so a few weeks ago when I got my Les Paul, my 58 Les Paul reissue, I knew it would come in this style of case. It's this Gibson Lifton brown case which in my opinion yeah it's the perfect looking case for any vintage style guitar i mean the the brown tolex looks amazing like vintage correct and just has the vibes and the pink interior <laughs> i heard uh, i heard a funny quote and it was like these cases are like California girls, if you know what I mean. I found it pretty funny. And yeah, so to be to be honest, I'm not 100% happy. To be honest, I'm really unhappy with this bad boy because this case is not worth the money. So where shall we start? Um, if you if you get yourself a $4,000, $5,000 Les Paul, I guess you want a case that is protective and suitable for gigging and stuff, rehearsals. Um, is this protective? I don't think so. Um, I guess it's good enough for rehearsals and stuff, but really if someone else handles your guitar every now and then, this is not the best choice for you. Uh, but w why do they give you this case with such an expensive guitar? Well, I guess it's all about the aesthetics. It's the, the vibe, the mojo, the vintage looks to have a period correct hard shell case. And yeah, if you take photos for Instagram or something, <laughs> This is the case you you have to go for um, but I just ordered another um, guitar case like a TSA lock um, yeah hard plastic kind of thing because this thing is not protective um, so let me tell you why first of all this thing is so ultra heavy it's like, I don't know how heavy it is, but it is super heavy. Um, seems to be proper wood, not plywood or something. And that's, that's not a bad thing, um, to be honest. But it's, yeah, like I said, it's really hard. The, the lining inside is not really um, protective because it's, it's only yeah it's not as thick as it should be to give more protection the the next thing is it only has a single neck rest here um, which also is not super bad uh, but uh, in my case in my with my special case the tuner of the uh, g-string touches the case it barely touches the case which is super bad it's not usable i guess not every lifting case has this flaw it's good enough for storing my guitar but i would i would not carry it around with this case uh, the next thing is below the body here you you, you have so much air it's like uh, the gap is like this big uh, it's not ideal it's not ideal so yeah pretty pretty crazy that this case is like 500 bucks or even a little more um, but it's at least in my opinion in my opinion it's it's not usable um, i wouldn't put a a and don't get me wrong, but I wouldn't put my $500 Epiphone in this case because, yeah, it's 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 not good. 
especially with the flaw here on the on the G string tuner button. Yeah. But whatever. I will keep it for photo sessions that I will never do. I will keep it for the resale value. Um, although I'm pretty sure I will never sell this guitar. Um, yeah, that's a pretty expensive piece of decoration. And I just got myself another case, a TSA case, and I will use this for gigs and stuff. But yeah, what can we do? That's how it is. And don't get me wrong, I'm not a Gibson basher by any means. I love Gibson guitars. And I also like the cases that like my junior came in and yeah, like the newer standard cases, but this historic Lifton case, it's a little too historic in my opinion, but I guess they think um, their customers want a historic correct case for the wipes. And if you want to geek with it, yeah, you have another 100 or 200 bucks extra to get a proper case. Okay, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you think. Maybe you have some nice recommendations for great cases and case manufacturers. And yeah, subscribe if you enjoyed it. Really appreciate it. And we're gonna see us in the next one. Peace.